Uh, the distinction between anarchy and anarchism, anarchism is an, is an ideology very similar to other political ideologies that has a, a set amount of appropriate questions and appropriate answers. Anarchy is, anarchy would be a condition that does not require anarchists. Anarchism, for, for anarchism to be a viable social system, for most people who are anarchists to, to feel comfortable in that would require a majority of people identifying themselves as anarchists. So you would need a bunch of adherence to your ideas and to your programs and to your projects in order for those things to maintain their viability. Anarchy is purely negative. It, it describes a condition of absence. So the absence of rulers, the absence of government, the absence of a state, the absence of coercive institutions. So that's more of a free-for-all or chaos for people who are interested in, in rigid social systems. The advantage of anarchy over anarchism is that anarchy doesn't require anarchists. Anybody can do it. And people do it all the time, they just don't know it and they don't, they don't call it that. So anytime you get together with your friends and you decide, let's make some food or let's play a game or let's take a walk or anything that, that doesn't involve asking permission from somebody to do it or doesn't involve any kind of coercion and doesn't involve any kind of hierarchy, you're existing in anarchy. So it, it happens all the time. Anytime people get together voluntarily to engage in a long-term or short-term project or a game, games are good because right, they're supposed to be frivolous and, and non-productive, which is probably the best way that people know how to get, to get along together. So that's anarchy in action. It's not anarchism in action. Anarchism in action is meetings and bylaws and position papers and purges and other ways of making distinctions between your group and another group. And it, it creates, it doesn't create, it replicates a lot of the problems that exist within a capitalist authoritarian culture. And that's, I think, inevitable because that's the culture we live in. And it's very difficult to step outside of those parameters since we've been imbued with them since our birth. We've always been told about the san san sanctity of private property. We've always been told that the policeman is your friend. We've always been told that the government is there to look out for your best interests. And we've always been told all of these things. We have no models for refusing that. We have no models for working against it in a way that doesn't replicate hierarchy, doesn't replicate authoritarian relations. So most of the anarchist projects that I've been involved in and that I've observed have a tendency to replicate those very, not so rigid necessarily, but they definitely have authoritarian aspects involved in them, certainly authoritarian personalities. And again, it's inevitable, it's, it's too bad. But how do we fight against that? We fight against that by saying anarchism is not sacrosanct. Anarchism should be critiqued. Anarchism should be critiqued from an anarchist perspective. So that's an internal critique. That's a really nice segue into what the post-left is. Post-left anarchist critique is an internal anarchist critique of anarchism and of the way anarchism has been uh, rigidified the way it's been unduly influenced by authoritarian ideas and, and behaviors from other parts of the anti-capitalist left.